Imagine a prospect lands on the homepage of your website and then within seconds they feel an immediate connection. They understand how you can help them and they think, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Unfortunately, without the correct homepage design, this instant connection probably never happens and then they click the back button on their browser and then they're gone. So today I'm going to walk you through a simple step-by-step -step process showing you how to design a good homepage that makes prospects say, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And I promise is not as hard as you might think. That is if you know what to do. So in this video, you're going to learn first the content your homepage needs to grab your visitors attention and guide them toward becoming a potential client. Second, how to structure your homepage layout to present your content in the most effective way possible. In other words, what your homepage should look like. And then third, I'll show you some examples of how to apply these principles to create a high performing homepage. So think of your homepage as an introductory meeting with a prospective client in real life. When you meet someone in person, you want to make a good first impression. You want to look nice and yes, looks do matter. And you want to introduce yourself and briefly explain what you do and how you can help. The homepage on your website needs to do the same thing. It should immediately let visitors know who you are, what you do, and most importantly, how you can solve their problem. And if you do a good job with your homepage, your visitors are much more likely to stick around and learn more about what you have to offer. Unfortunately, a lot of businesses don't do a good job with their homepage, frankly, because no one showed them what to do. And as a result, what often happens is they am just throwing a bunch of random stuff on their homepage just to fill up the space, which then leads to a cluttered and often confusing mess that drives prospective clients away. And that's exactly what I'm trying to help you avoid today. So let's now go through the step-by-step -step process for designing a good homepage for your website. I like to call this a paint by numbers approach where we just fill in the homepage section by section which makes the process simple, even if you're not a design expert. So starting at the top of your homepage is something called the hero section. This is the very first thing your visitors see. So you need to make this count. In fact, I'd say 80% of your effort in creating your homepage needs to be focused on this top zone at the top of the page. That's how important it is. The term hero section or hero image comes from traditional print media where the hero refers to the main headline and image at the top of the page, which is intended to grab the reader's attention. Ideally, your main headline in the hero section should describe the problem you solve or the outcome you deliver. However, it's also perfectly acceptable to simply describe who you are and what you do because a lot of websites don't even do that. What you do not want to do with the headline is try to be cute or clever. Your visitors don't have the patience or mental bandwidth to try and decipher what your site is about. So you need to be clear, direct, and to the point. And in addition to your main headline, it's also a good idea to add a subheadline to support and further expand upon the main headline. You also want to select an image that supports and communicates the main headline. And I'll show you some real life examples in just a second. You also want to include a call to action button in your hero section to gently nudge your visitors to take the next step, whatever they, that might be. Now, as far as what your hero section should look like, I generally use one of the following two layouts. A full width layout where the image spans the entire width of the page and then the headline is centered in the middle of the hero section. Or I use what's called a 50-50 layout where half of the hero section contains the headline and the other half contains the hero image. Here's one of my clients, a board certified ophthalmologist and eye surgeon, where we're using the 50-50 hero section. Here's the headline, the subheadline, the hero image, and call to action. Here's another one of my clients, a mold remediation specialist, where we're using the full width layout. Once again, headline, subheadline, and the hero image, which is this nasty mold which spans the full width of the hero section. Now, in this site, we didn't include the call to action button in the hero section because we included that button right above it in the main navigation. So those are two examples of what a good hero section might look like. Now below the hero section is where you want to briefly agitate the pain point to focus your prospect's attention and gently remind them why they need your service. You can then pair that copy with an image or video that reinforces your message and shows how you provide that solution. For example, if you're a financial planner, that might look something like this. Do you find yourself struggling to make sense of your retirement options? Worried you might not have enough saved to live comfortably? Our customized retirement plans give you peace of mind knowing you're on the right path toward financial security. Then you could pair this copy with an image of a financial planner sitting at a desk with a relaxed, smiling couple reviewing documents together. The next section is the benefits sections, showing how your service will make your prospect's life better. 
So what you want to do is pick three or four benefits your service provides coupled with the feature that makes that benefit possible. Remember that a feature is a thing you deliver and a benefit is what that thing does for you. I also like to pair each benefit with an image that amplifies that benefit. Let's continue on with our financial planner example. Benefit number one is gain peace of mind about your financial future. The feature is our data driven strategies give you clear, actionable steps towards financial security. Then you pair that with an appropriate image. Benefit two, maximize your savings and investments. And benefit three, feel secure knowing you're prepared for life's unexpected turns. And then I often like to use a zigzag pattern like this to break up the monotony on the page and make things look more visually appealing. In the next section, you want to show some testimonials because you can never have too many people singing your praises. Prospects usually care more about what other people say about you than what you say about yourself. If you don't have client testimonials, but you do have clients that are pleased with the work you've done for them, no worries, I got you covered. I have a whole video that explains my simple step-by-step -step process that makes getting testimonials a breeze. The link to that video is in the description below. The next section is a feature list. As I'm sure you've heard, People buy with emotions, but they justify their buying decisions with logic. Therefore, we want to include a section with a list of features to satisfy the left brain of our prospect. It's just kind of the raw facts of what you get. Once again, using our financial planner example, their feature list might look like this. Personalized retirement plans, tax efficiency strategies, investment management, and social security optimization. Then the last section of a good homepage would be an FAQ section. You can do the classic Q&A format, or what I like to do is create these FAQ toggles to create a little interactivity. Plus, if you have a lot of FAQs with long answers, these FAQ toggles can make your page more inviting so your prospect doesn't have to process a scary wall of long text. So here are a few example FAQs using our financial planner example. How do you ensure my financial plan is tailored to my specific needs? What happens if there's a change in my financial situation? And how often will we meet to review my financial plan? Like with the features list, list as many FAQs as you can possibly think of. Then at the bottom of your page, you always want to prompt your prospect once again to take the next step with you, whether that's requesting a free consultation, watching a free video or whatever. So let's look at what we just built top to bottom. At the top, we have the hero section. Using our financial planner example, the headline might read, build a secure future today. With the sub headline reading, personalize financial planning to give you confidence in your retirement. The visual could be an image of a mature couple smiling and relaxed, walking hand in hand in a park, representing the security and peace of mind that comes with a solid financial plan. Then below the hero section, we want to gently agitate the pain and remind them why they need your service. The next section is the benefits section where you are gonna list three or four ways their life will be better by using your service. Next, you wanna provide some social proof and share some testimonials from satisfied clients. Next, you wanna provide a feature list to satisfy the logical part of their brain so they have a tangible line-by-line -line itemization of what they're getting. Next is a FAQ section where you answer common questions as well as common objections from prospective clients. Then the all important call to action. Can you add additional content over and above what I've just shared with you? Of course, just be careful not to overwhelm your visitor because oftentimes less is more. So I'm a big believer in keeping things simple, you know, be brilliant and basic and focus on your fundamentals. And if you do that, I guarantee you are going to have a homepage that's going to be better than 80 to 90% of your competitors. Now, before clicking the request a free consultation button, prospective clients often want to know a bit more about who they're going to be dealing with, such as your experience, your credentials or other relevant details. So that's why you also need a good about us page. And I have an entire video that walks you through that process step by step of how to create a good about us page. And you can check that video out right here.